This is Paul. Yes, uh, there was no spitting, poking, stalking, grabbing, shoving, pushing, throwing, hitting, or with open or closed hand. <laughs> Except Heidi did, she did hit me with her open hand. Yes, restraining, blocking, strangulation, hitting with objects, kicking, burning, <laughs> use of weapons, or physical attacks where the domestic violent perpetrator used physical force directly against the DV victim's body with or without injury. Yes. Now, sexual attacks, pressured, coerced, or physically forced sexual activity of all types. Well, it didn't really happen like that. Po -po. As I remember 10 years of marriage, yes, uh, there really wasn't that type of sexuality. Uh, it was one of these situations where I got to find out every night whether or not she wanted to have sex, and if she didn't, I had to accept it. <laughs> we may be... Ooh, well, I never pressured Heidi for sex. I never did. And she tried to give me some charity sex, but I wouldn't receive it. Pooch. I don't like having sex with a woman that doesn't want the orgasm. And I understand the ovulation cycle of women, and I understand menstruation. We never had sex during menstruation. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> and uh, I do understand about estrogen and progesterone, and I understand about pregnancy and lactation, and I understand about being the father. Five sons! Now, there was one time when Heidi kind of flipped out. I was looking at her like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, we were married in Airway Heights. It was some really bizarre behavior where she threw her legs open and said, all you care about is my pussy. And I thought, well, no, <laughs> I really don't. In fact, I don't want it if you want to try to give it to me like that. <laughs> now, there was no sexual pressure on my part. <laughs> Now, I know. <laughs> you, oh, oh, well, there wasn't. <laughs> now, I know if we really had a sit-down talk about the actual... <laughs> well, I never did. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you... Well, <laughs> there was no physical violence in the relationship. There was some arguments when we were first married in the... Well, until we moved to Guam, the last four years of marriage when we lived in Vancouver, yes, and Jessica was attending the Washington State School for the Blind, pooch, we really didn't argue that much. <laughs> no, we didn't. There was no physical violence. We did understand that we were under a certain amount of pressure because of the credit crisis. Yes, I myself tried to short sell the house to one of Jessica's teachers, her third grade teacher, Mrs. Strand. Yes, and we did everything we could. <laughs> Now, I know a lot of women feel like it's a man's fault for not providing for the family. And when you go through a credit crisis and nobody wants to buy your house and you bought the house because of a stepdaughter that was a non-biological daughter so that you moved to Vancouver so that she can go to this Washington State School for the Blind. As a father and a husband, I thought I was a pretty good provider, really. <laughs> now, I know a lot of abusive men do what I do. Yeah, there was no sexual pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, I never made my wife ever have sex with me or perform oral sex. <laughs> I never violated her consent of the marriage, and I never uh, did anything physically harming to her. <laughs> I wasn't coercive. Uh, I wasn't intimidating, and I wasn't manipulative. <laughs> now, I'm going to be absolutely sure on exactly these psychological evaluations of the behavior of the perpetrator. <laughs>